Hi guys, welcome back. Just carve Rob. Look what we got. Came in yesterday. Ruby Burrs. Pete Blair and uh, Ben over at Studio on the Lake. <clears throat> Those guys use the Ruby Burrs. I've got some different different size flame burrs going here, guys. The Ruby Burrs. Okay. These are not cheap. This one was $11. Okay. And I got these from Mountain Wood Carvers. Okay. And we got a couple of these small flame burrs. How small? Well, I'll show you how small. Come on, focus. That small. They're about as small as the lead on the tip of a pencil, guys. I'm trying to get you a better, better shot of it. Okay. So they're tiny, teeny tiny. You do not want to run these at a super high speed. Because once you heat them up, it takes the temper out of them. These are high speed steel. They are not carbide, okay? But they're cheap enough, right? $1.50 a piece. Engraver burrs. Use these for cutting out like your your eyes and cutting your uh, age lines in. Stuff like that. Super duper detailed work, okay? That's what we're going to use those for. And these are all 332nd shanks. So um, they do sell them with the eighth inch shank. I just got the ones with the 332nds because I have that capability of using the 332nd shank ones. These little guys, little guys, we'll be using him. I'm going to put him in here so he don't get lost. He doesn't go in here. This is actually for the ruby burr. But... Uh, Really nice cases they give you too, guys. You can keep using these over and over. Put your burrs back in them. Store them in your drawer so they don't get lost and mixed up and get bumped all. I don't know anything about ruby burrs. I'm just going with what uh, Ben over at Studio on the Lake. He loves them ruby burrs. So, here it is. Okay, last night, about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, I got bored. Nothing on TV. Couldn't sleep. Back was killing me. <clears throat> so I had to get my mind off of that. So I came out here. And uh, well actually I started out in the big wood shop. And I made another blank. Yep. Another worm blank guys. I think. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. I'll boogered up this morning. I think we're going to. This will be the last worm for now. Because I have got to get started on a cane for a fella. And that's going to be next, okay? So, we start out with a blank. Okay, I haven't carved the worm spiral in it. Duh. After uh, carving, what, five of them? I finally realized, well, maybe you should carve the head first, Rob. Then you don't got to worry about breaking the worm coil, Rob. You dinkus. Okay, so that's what we did. And since we made Clint Eastworm, we had to make them. Mr. Edworm. Hold on there, Wilbur. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, my first attempt at doing a horse. Don't know, I don't think, uh, to all my horse friends out there, don't be offended. I'm sure I could do a better one with the next one. Okay. Okay, Wilbur. Any of you that are old enough to remember Mr. Ed? A horse, a horse, a course, a course. Of course, unless the horse is the wonderful Mr. Ed. Oh. Okay, it's an old TV show. It's about a guy from the city that buys a horse farm. And with the horse farm comes a horse. And it's a talking horse. It's the wonderful Mr. Edworm. So, here's Mr. Edworm. So, uh, yeah, I roughed him out last night. And I was using... Or I, start, I should say I started using 
the Dremel 4000 with a cuts auger. I'll tell you people, my friends, the mini carver has ruined me for the cuts for the Dremel. I'm sure uh, when we get into bigger projects, Ooh, hello there, Wilbur. Get out of here. I'm sure when we get to uh, bigger things where we want to move, move uh, masses of material, we'll go back to the Dremel 4000. But, I'll tell you, right now, the Mini Carver is killing it, guys. The only thing the Mini Carver doesn't want to work well in is cedar. Okay? And I don't carve that much cedar like Jordy. He carves a lot of cedar, but... I just don't have good enough cedar around here to carve. Okay? So uh, most of my wood is going to be poplar, birch, some oak. I picked up some 2x2 uh, two two oak. They're about 3 feet long, square. So uh, we're going to have to make something with that. Uh, we'll see how the mini carver fares with the oak. Oak is very, 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 very hard. Stop horsing around, Rob. Get to the carving. Ho, ho, ho. That doggone horse. Stop photobombing me, horse. No. Horse. Oh, Edworm. Edworm horse. Okay. That's uh, Clint Eastworm's horse. Clint. Clint, come and save me. Ho, 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 ho. Get out of here, horse. No, you're going to carve me, right? Yeah, we're going to give you some eyeballs and some hair. We're going to smooth them out. <clears throat> now, the catalog says that people that carve duckies, you know, the wooden ducks, decoy ducks, whatever you want to do, say that these are the ultimate for smoothing out your project. Better than diamonds, supposed to last better, longer than diamonds. It's uh, based at 400 grit, they say. Feels a little coarser than that to me. Feels more like uh, 180, 200, something like that. But, hey, that's just my fingers. Uh, yeah, it's, it feels like it's quite gritty. I mean, if you take take one of these, okay, and then take a diamond burr and just scratch your fingernail down it, this feels like it's got the, the rubies or whatever is set on it. It's a lot deeper than the diamonds. And the problem with most diamond burrs is they don't put the diamonds all the way to the tip, and that's that's where we that's where we live, right, guys? We live on the edge. We live up here. It is pretty pointy though, but we've got some different style ones. They're all flame burrs, okay? But they're different different sizes. Like this is a big one. Plainfield, New Jersey. I used to live near Plainfield, New Jersey. Okay, so you can see they're all different sizes this is the smallest one right here then it, i got the medium and then i got the large okay plus i got those little uh engraver burrs we're gonna try playing around with them on uh some metal maybe like see i made this silver ring out of a silver quarter a silver half dollar so maybe we'll try carving just carve rob in there or is that too corny what do you guys think is that too corny anyway just flapping my lips wasting time so, uh, let's take this diamond, or, uh, sorry, ruby, and see how it smooths. Now, this was done with a combination of the, uh, saber-tooth straight burr. I'll show you. If I can get it out of the skull. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Saber-tooth straight, right? That's what I use for roughing most of the, most of Mr. Edworm out. I'm looking for him. He's in my hand. See, because it gets up in there. You know, all that stuff. I know. I know you people that have horses, stop yelling at me. This is my first worm horse. Ed worm. Yeah, people, don't be mad at Rob if I come out goofy looking. Remember, I'm a horsature. A horsature. The character of a horse. Horsature. Yeah, that's it. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, uh, so. With... All the nonsense out of the way here, I guess. Well, you know, Just Carve Rob is always just nonsense. Should have named it Just Nonsense Rob. Okay. So. I just like to say, Jordy. Jordy, you don't get no time off, Jordy. We missed you last night, Jordy. 
Our whole Thursday is laid around the Jordy Show. The Carving Fusion Jordy Show. Where were you, Jordy? We missed you, buddy. Come back from Vancouver Island soon, please. Okay. But everybody needs a break. Jordy, Jordy's been putting in the time, too, guys. We know he has. We love him. But, anyhow. Poor old Jordy. I guess he's all... He's, he hasn't he hasn't stopped carving. If you guys have been following him, he's been on Vancouver Island carving stuff for his buddies, which is cool. If I had friends, <laughs> if I had some friends, <coughs> oh, that's stuck in my throat. If I had some friends, I might go help them carve or carve them something. Okay. You might be able to see these better if I open them up, right? So let's... Uh, Let's get these packages open and take a look at these burrs. Okay. This one's even kind of got that ruby color to it. So it must have a bigger rubies. Yes. Okay. I think these are going to work pretty sweet. And, uh, yeah. If you guys, right there, it says mountainwoodcarvers.com. I just called them up and ordered them. You know, I the heck with the internet thing. I just called them up, said, "Hey, send me these burrs, fifty some dollars worth of burrs. It's three burrs and four of them little guys." Okay, yeah, not cheap, right? Um, it'd be a while before Just Car Rob can order any any more anything. That's for sure. I've been spending money like crazy on carving stuff. So, I guess I'm going to have to either start being a used car salesman, begging for money on YouTube, or start selling some of my carvings. All right. Well, anyway, enough of my financial problems. Let's uh, take this ruby burr. I, you know, I think we might go with the bigger, the bigger ruby burr here. This one. Let's try doing some, uh, some smoothing out. Let's try doing some smoothing out. I'm going to put this one in this little case here. I don't know. You know, it don't make sense to me. Why didn't they just put, like, see? Why don't they just keep them all in one case? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put them all in one case. Although, I do have plenty of room in my toolbox for all those boxes. But I guess if you keep them in three different cases, that way there, if you lose one, you don't lose all three. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and see if we can do a little sand in here. I'm not going to turn the vacuum on so you guys can see it, and I can yap at you while we're doing it. This thing isn't that loud, right? Way more quiet than the Dremel. Okay, here's the Dremel. See, the Dremel makes so much noise that it just tunes this right out. Um, all right, so let's, uh, yeah, I know I'm wasting my time talking. Let's go in here and try smoothing this guy out a little bit, okay? And let's see how it works out. All right. Oh, in my old rocking chair. Use a nice light touch here, guys. We don't want to go gouging out the... Let's turn this Dremel, or this uh, microcarver, down to half speed, which would be about 20,000 RPMs. I 
I can tell you right now that this cuts much better than the diamonds do. But remember, guys, you also got to remember this is brand new. But I'll tell you, I've got diamonds right out of the, the new box. And it seems like within an hour of using them, maybe sometimes less, they just go right, they go right to dull. Especially the tips on them. Um, I ordered a box of flame burrs. And I think they're on a slow boat from China. So we'll see whenever they get here. Uh, we can do, they'll be brand new flame burrs. And we will do a heads up comparison against our, our ruby burrs. I mean, Ben on the lake, Ben Studio on the lake, sorry Ben. Uh, I don't, he has diamonds, but whenever you see him doing the sanding of his uh, whatever, like his, his birdhouse, cuckoo house, his cuckoo clock, which is going to be awesome. If he ever gets done editing it, Ben, uh, it's going to be awesome, guys. It's not super hard to make. You just have to put your time in and uh, make sure you got your stuff all set up. If you haven't seen Ben's uh, Ben Studio on the Lake, if you haven't seen his cuckoo clock, go watch his videos if you like cuckoo clocks. I love cuckoo clocks. I think they're just all the mechanical mechanism in it is just awesome. I've got a 1903 gingerbread clock. Um, I bought it at an auction, and the wood on it is awesome. So, uh, but so, it, and it's wound up, but it won't work. And I am going to take some time here. And I'm gonna take it, take it apart, and find out why. Why aren't you working, clock? Because it's got the, uh, it's got all kinds of chimes in it. Um, for like the hour, it'll chime on the hour, the half hour, and it's got more chimes than that in it. So I'm sure that it will chime on the quarter hour, things like that. It doesn't have a face with the with the moon and the sun to tell you the whether it's AM or PM. Some of the more more fancy ones have that, like the grandfather clocks and that. They have that uh, as the clock ticks around, it shows the the time of day, whether it's night or morning, according to it's got a moon and a sun. And then some of them even show the phases of the moon when you got a quarter moon, half moon, half, you know, all that stuff. I got a, I've got a wind up grandfather clock in the house. Um, it's not an expensive one, but it winds up. And that was the whole thing about getting it is that even with a power outage, um, it winds up and you'll be, still have the correct time of day. I know you got your cell phones and all that stuff, but hey, when that zombie apocalypse happens, guys, I'll be able to know what time it is when the zombies come to eat my brains. Just gotta remember to crank it up every once in a while. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's. That's taking down that wood pretty quick. I was watching this guy carve horse faces on YouTube. And, uh,. He had a book there. I don't remember who wrote it. Stan something. I don't remember. But uh, the guy was a, a horse artist. He did all the, for the comic books, uh, 
Long Ranger, Roy Rogers, all them guys. He did all the uh, horse drawings for the comic books. And he's a pretty good horse artist for drawing and painting horses and whatnot. That just goes to show you, even though you're really good at it, you still might be doing comic books. You gotta do what pays the bills, right? Yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed with this diamond bit. These diamond bits here. Who's it, or it's not diamond, uh, get it right, Rob. Ruby, Ruby bits. Uh, I do not believe they are 400 grit, though, because I can still see scratch lines. But, that's all right. But I think it cleaned it up pretty good. Okay, so I guess we got to give our horse some eyes. Now this is the biggest the biggest burr, the biggest ruby burr I got that I ordered. And let's see. If we compare this one being the biggest ruby burr to the cut saw, you can see that yeah, it's probably about half its size overall. Because it sits right inside that the uh, pattern of the cut saw burr pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it's even got that pink, like a pink color to it. A pink cast. I wish I had one of those uh, microscope deals, you know, that you can, you get hooks onto your camera. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, let me get the eyes and stuff drawn on here. And then I'll bring you guys back and we will cut the eyes in with that. That micro burr, look at that, man. Even just like that. If you had a pin vise, you could stick this in your pin vise and use it like a file for smoothing out them rough areas. Okay, let me get the eyes drawn in, guys, and we'll bring you right back, all right? So hang on. Okay, guys, those of you that have been hanging around the Just Carve Rob shop for a while have seen this trick I've done before. <clears throat> okay. You take a drill bit. The size of the eye you want. No, you don't use this end. You use this end. Um, what I've done is I have taken a diamond bit. And I made this before, so. Let's see if I can find it. And there, you take a diamond bit and put it in your Dremel and you just grind a cup into it, okay? And that is for the eye. So that's just a little trick that I do. And because it's a drill bit, it holds a good sharp edge. So that's just a trick that I've done and I've used it here. And I just push it in, and you get a nice round eye. Okay? And, of course, once you start carving around this, because <clears throat> you got to put the, the ridges in for the eyes, uh, you can change, change it a little bit. Okay, and my box of drill bits. Put that back in there. <clears throat> So what we have done, we've put the micro flame burr into, man, you can't even see it, into the uh, micro motor. And we've got the micro motor turned down to probably 15, between 12 and 15,000 RPMs. 
Okay. So uh, let's attempt to carve these horse eyes. I am not a professional horse carver. I do not play one on YouTube. I don't even pretend to be one. I'm just going to go right where I pushed that drill bit in. And I'm just going to push back a little bit. To put give that eyeball a little bit of depth. Something like that, I guess. And then we'll come back with the uh, the smaller ruby, and we will clean that up. And we'll bring this down a little bit more here. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's just a horse picture. So it'll be what it will be. And do the same thing here. Come in over top the ball part of the eye. And just push back in there just a little bit. Just to give that eye some depth. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll come above the eye. And push in. I know them horses have got that big eyebrow over top of their eyeball. It's a horse worm. It doesn't have to look exactly like a horse. As long as you can identify it, I guess. And we may use that drill bit again here and here to put his nose in, his nostrils, and big old horsey snot holes they got that they like blowing snot all over you with. As you can tell, I don't know too much about horses. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll come in with the diamond here. And work that down or it's not diamond the uh, ruby okay so we'll pull out the that that miniature burr miniature flame burr and we'll go back with our our small ruby burr put this little flame burr away so it don't get lost we put our ruby burr in And we'll go clean that up.
For those of you that carve horses, I'm sure I'm messing it all up. And I'm sure that I will carve another horse eventually. Looks like I need to just stop horsing around and do some more horse sculpture uh, reviewing. I watched a couple YouTube videos on guys carving horses. Far superior than mine. My little horsey here, my whatever you want to call it. I'll tell you, this ruby burr seems to, it's cleaning the, all the small detail up a lot better than that, the uh, diamond flame burr that I was using. But then again, that diamond flame burr is about shot. So. I don't know, guys. I don't know. About this horse like I said I am no realistic horse carver in any fashion This my horsey here might be good enough for a might be good enough for a chest set. It's one of my plans. I want to make a chest set. I got all kinds of requests for different types of chest set. Make a hillbilly chest set. Make a Civil War chest set. Make a a freak them all out. I'll make a worm horse a worm chest set. You start getting into hand carved chest sets, especially the ones made out of ivory. Oh my goodness. Talking thousands of dollars. You'd have to be one serious chess player, in my opinion, to spend a thousand bucks on a chess set. But I've seen them. I've seen the Civil War ones and the now they got one for the uh not the uh, election, election for the president. Chess set. That's what I should have got was a... Because of the shape of this... Uh, you know, using this round stock. I should have got... A horse from a chess set. And you and use that for a pattern. Don't be afraid to use things that are around you guys for your uh, 3D examples. If you're gonna get serious in the carve adventures, it's always nice to have an example. I have a lot of them over there that I've picked up at yard sales and whatnot of different types of animals, salt and pepper shakers, that are squirrels and uh, that kind of stuff to use as uh, a pattern. So when you're carving, you got something to look at and it's in the three dimensions and it doesn't, you know, you don't, I don't ever do a direct co copy of somebody else's work. I will embellish it with my own flair uh, and if I know who the artist is I'll always give <clears throat> give them credit you know it's you don't ever want to take credit for somebody else's work
trying to get a level field here for the nostrils. So we're going to have to cut them in. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this smaller ruby here um, seems to put out a, a finer finish than the bigger one. Okay, so I just got some, uh, I'm just going to go through here and do some more shaping with this diamond, uh, ruby. And, uh, I'll bring you guys back, all right? I don't want to sit here and bore you with sanding, 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 sanding. All right, bye-bye. <clears throat> I think that'll all be in the next video, because this one's running really long. So, share, subscribe, and like. And we will catch you on the next one. Be awesome. Carve something awesome, guys. And be kind to each other. All right? Bye.